Hi, so in this video we are going to find Fibonacci series in Pascal's triangle. So how to find the Fibonacci series in Pascal's triangle? Yes, it is slightly tricky as you might have noticed that I have always used Pascal's triangle in this fashion. Each number is enclosed inside a regular hexagon, right? The shape of hexagon is very useful while finding the Fibonacci series in Pascal's triangle. What I am going to do is I am going to draw lines along with the sides of these hexagon. I am going to draw a line like this, right? Like this and like this and this. If you notice, I am drawing lines which are coinciding on the top left side of the hexagon, right? These lines are going to help us in finding the Fibonacci series. But what is the Fibonacci series? Let's first note down the Fibonacci series. In Fibonacci series, first term is 1, second term is also 1 and the third term onwards, every term is actually the sum of its previous two terms. So if I want to find the third term, the third term will be the sum of first and second term that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 right and fourth term will be the sum of second and third term so 2 plus 1 3 and the fifth term will be 3 plus 2 5 and sixth term will be 3 plus 5 8 and then we will have 8 plus 5 13 and then we will have 13 plus 8 21 and then we will have 21 plus 13 that is 34 and this will continue right so this is the Fibonacci series and how do we find the series with the help of these lines which we have drawn how we have drawn these lines all these lines are coinciding with the top left edge of a regular hexagon so if this is the regular hexagon I have drawn all the lines which are coinciding with this side Right? This is how we have drawn this line. Yes, these lines are actually going to help us in finding the Fibonacci series. We will take one line each from top to bottom and add all the numbers which these lines are cutting. So if I take this line, this is actually not cutting any number, so I am not going to take this line. But if I take this line, this actually cuts this one which is written over here. This one is getting slashed by that line and there is no other number which is getting slashed by that line. So one plus nothing will give us one. And if I talk about this second line, this is actually cutting only this one, nothing else, right? So here we get one more one, right? But if I talk about this line which I'm going to color in purple this cuts through two ones right this one and this one so if I add these two one one plus one will give us two right and if I talk about this line this is actually going through this two and one right so two plus one will give us three and if I talk about this line this is going through 1, 3 and 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 1 gives us 5. And if I talk about this line, this goes through 1, 4 and 3. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 3 gives us 8. Right? Similarly, this line goes through 1, 5, 6 and 1. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13 and if I talk about this last line this one this is going through this 1 6 10 and 4 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 10 is 17 plus 4 is 21 right and what is this this is nothing but the Fibonacci series first term is 1 1 over here again 1 we are again getting 1 2 is over here then we get 3 which is here 5 is here then we have 8 then we have 13 then we have 21 right and if we continue in this fashion 
definitely we are going to find other terms of the Fibonacci series also. So this is how we find Fibonacci series in Pascal's triangle.